Hey guys, it's Sheridan at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum. And today we're doing a fun winter craft and we're going to actually be salt painting. So what you need is our template that we will have below of a snowflake. And it should be printed on cardstock or something thicker because printer paper will rip right through. Next, you will need liquid glue. So we have our Elmer's School glue, liquid watercolor and salt. Um, you also can use pipettes, what I will be using today. Um, it just helps a little bit better. So first, you're going to have your template and make sure you lay it on something because you don't want the salt or the liquid watercolor to get everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and trace my um, snowflake real quick. Make sure you do it kind of quick because you don't want the glue to dry and the salt not to stick. So next I have salt in a bowl and a spoon and I'm going to go ahead and just put the salt all over where the, I have the glue at. All right. Next, I'm going to get it all together and I'm going to pour the excess off and it will look like this where it's um, connected to the glue. And you can immediately start putting your liquid watercolor. When using a pipette, you will squeeze it, put it in the water or the watercolor, and you let go, and then you don't squeeze it till you get over your salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it. And once you put it on um, the salt, it spreads really quickly. It'll probably take a day or two to dry, um, just as long as the glue is dry. It will look a little bit different, react different once it is dry, it kind of looks um, just spread out. And the salt sometimes will um, disappear because it is wet from the paint. This is what it will look like once you're finished. Um, this is what it will look like when it's dry. And we hope you have um, fun doing our salty snowflakes and show us yours in the comments below. Thanks guys.